I just went to the resource recovery center and for ten dollars I got all of this why probably because it's all garbage but I'm gonna take a look inside all of these give them a little quality testing testing the sound quality because these look to be all right I guess maybe not the other ones but the LGs actually do look quite nice all right, so first we have this. Now this is an iStation Logic 3. I am certain that it absolutely does not work. I put new batteries in it, tried different inputs, but it does not run at all. So let's save these batteries from their miserable lives. This thing is really weirdly designed. It has two battery compartments. And it's got a bunch of weird inputs like Firewire. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the recording, but this thing is just the cheapest possibly made thing. If it did work, uh, I would give it a sound test, but it doesn't. But I'm guessing it would be quite quiet and tinny as these speakers are tiny and this quote unquote woofer in the middle has a very small compartment so I doubt that it would actually sound any good but if you actually own one of these please write it down in the comments section below does this actually sound good because I do not know and remember when it was 2007 and everyone liked to just put I on the front of all of their products to try and copy Apple Okay, the next thing are these speakers. Now, these are LG's DTE 655Ts. And apparently they can handle 100 watts, but I doubt that very much. These look to be about 30, 40 max. But it does say 100 watts program, which probably means they might be about 50 watts RMS. And they're 8 ohms too, and they have a port Maybe even looks like they have a tweeter. Hopefully it's not fake. Now I did get two of them. So this, I think it came from a surround sound setup because it had these really... Okay, so here are the spoon brackets. I think it's so you can have it at different angles, but it just looks really weird. And these actually have terminals on them. So it can connect your own wire. This one does have a small dent. So let's just balance them there. These are lighter than my phone, which is concerning. They have no names on them, unless if this one does. Nope. But it looks like they did at one point. They have sticker residue. The wires are cut off, and it looks like it has a port for a tweeter. So, as you can tell, not the highest build quality. One thing that hook is not quite centered it's just off to the left a little which is very annoying it just caught my eye and the last is this Philips subwoofer which comes with its complementary garbage wire because we always need more of that now it's a simple design and it has a port on the front wow and on the back we have the very dusty and dirty woofer. By the way, I have not cleaned any of this. And on the bottom it says subwoofer, because if you couldn't tell, this is actually a subwoofer. And it's 8 ohm, and the model number is the HDL2160 or the HDL2150. Now I'm guessing the 150 would mean that it's 150 watts, but it looks to be about 60 to me. The foam's a little stiff, so maybe it could handle a bit more than that. Okay, that's all the things that we have got from the Resource Recovery Center. Now it's time to tear them to bits. And maybe after that, if they've survived that, we'll do a little sound test with some cringy and awfully selected music by me and now I have my two finely selected tools a screwdriver and a screwdriver with a hammer on the end so you can go 
here comes the eye station or as I want to call it the eye saw because this glossy plastic has not aged well take off the little rubber feet they don't have any screws underneath them which is unfortunate let's be honest I do not know what I'm doing but if I stab things hard enough hopefully something will happen so let's first start by unscrewing the most obvious screws and maybe that will reveal something and this is full of grime and battery acid which is delightful it looks like it's snapped together which I hate because these designs are annoying and I will need to get a flathead screwdriver so I will be right back There we go. Oh, there we go. Here's the little warning that was stuck on the inside. Do not use without appropriate adapter cradle. But why would they keep that inside the unit? That just... D oh, that comes out. Okay. My bad. Okay, we have very tiny drivers and it's half destroyed. But we have our first speaker. I am not sure how to tackle this. Okay, I am going to leave this for later. And just before we get onto these, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more of this content in the future. Look at that. My screwdriver just fits, but this one doesn't have very good grip. And I am back again with another screwdriver. We have to undone all of the screws. And we are inside. But they couldn't hide the truth from us. This is fake. I should have known. After all, I did watch that video from Double SMM, who undid the exact same speakers and they had a fake tweeter in it. But the mid range doesn't look too bad. Let's take it out on the actual magnet cover that it is 50 watts and that looks all right it does have a cloth surround but the coil doesn't look too small i'll put this back together and we'll go on to the next speaker and it appears that these two have four screws on the back And just as I thought, this speaker looks awful. It's 4 ohms at 10 watts. And it has one of those tacky aluminium dust caps. Let's take a look at it from the front. This magnet is very small. Just as I thought. Millimeter thick foam surround. And one of those dust caps that doesn't even sit flush. But the wiring from the terminals is actually in the way. Extremely cheap. And here is the sub with a woofer. It has a flat dust cap, a thick foam surround. Looks quite generic. But that's a very long port, so maybe it will have deep bass. And this is actually a 25 watt speaker. I would have expected it to be more. I've never understood why manufacturers do this. They make the entire speaker cabinet out of wood, and then they make the front out of plastic. It just looks really weird, the transition from wood to plastic. Now let's get back to the eye station woofer. I will have to go outside to do this, but basically I am going to get a little bit of grip in one of the edges here and then get a hammer and chisel it open. I am back with the subwoofer, if you can even call it that. 
so I'll first remove this little port that's in the way. It's kind of cool, they've actually installed a port. And here is the subwoofer. Let's see what's under this cap. More cardboard. A decently sized voice coil. I mean, that's almost as big as the magnet itself. Interesting. On to testing these speakers. The Algies don't sound too bad, but there is a definite abundance of high end, thanks to it having a fake tweeter. When the bass kicks in, these actually do sound quite good, actually go quite low. Probably supposed to be used in a surround sound environment where you're not really listening to music, you're probably more listening to movie stuff. That's literally it for these speakers, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so here are the next speakers, these unbranded ones. Now, I can't actually move the wires at all because the cable is actually clinging onto a tiny bit of what's left, and if I move it, it'll either disconnect or short out. Now, from that, this has no bass at all. It sounds like trash, and looks like trash too so i will probably not be keeping these and before we get onto the big subwoofer let's do the little subwoofer out of its enclosure just some excursion and that's what happens when you push a cheap little 5 watt speaker to the max with an amplifier it will bottom out and create horrible noises Let's see how much bass this 25 watt subwoofer has. Not bad for the size, but I bet if you turn it up, it will start to distort. Now, it is getting late. It's the evening right now, so I don't want to crank it up too loud. For a small home theatre, this will be okay. But anything bigger than that and this may start to struggle all right and that's the end of this video if you want to see more of this content in the future consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video by the way this is what the lighting looks like if i don't use my soft boxes it looks like a grainy mess